Are Ledger hardware wallets still safe to use as your go-to for crypto storage? For a long time, Ledger has been one of the most popular hardware wallet manufacturers, and they still are to some degree. However, concerns about whether or not they can still be trusted are on the rise. In this video, I'll share my concerns about Ledger hardware wallets and what has happened with the company over the last several years. And later in the video, I'll share one of my favorite Ledger wallet alternatives if you are looking to get a new hardware wallet. One of the greatest concerns with Ledger wallets is their new Ledger Recover product. Now, Ledger Recover is an opt-in subscription-based service that allows you to recover your seed phrase if you lose it. Now, this might sound like a good idea, but the point of a crypto wallet especially one like Ledger is self-custody, which means you own your keys and thus you own and control your crypto. When you sign up to Ledger Recover, first you have to physically consent to the service using your Ledger hardware wallet. So basically it's the same thing as signing a transaction on the blockchain. It's only with your permission is the service activated. From there, the device splits your seed phrase into three fragmented sections that are sent to three separate companies, CoinCover, Ledger, and Escrow Tech. And this ensures that not a single company has access to your full seed phrase. Now to set this up, you do have to complete KYC, AKA know your customer. So you have to send in a picture of your ID along with a selfie. And then your identity is attached to the encrypted fragments of your seed phrase and your identity is also encrypted and stored in an encrypted format as well. So if you ever lose your seed phrase and you need to regain access to it, you just go through the KYC process again, and then two of the three companies will send you the fragments of your seed phrase directly to your Ledger wallet and essentially rebuild your private key so that you can regain access to your wallet. All that said, if you never subscribe to Ledger Recover and you don't give Ledger consent, then your seed phrase remains on your device inside the secure element chip. Now, this type of chip is used in other reputable hardware wallets on the market, and it is considered standard in my opinion. Um, and its sole job is to protect your private key and seed phrase from you know, malicious attacks, whether that be malware or even brute force attacks. And it does a really good job at doing that. This is the same kind of chip that's used in bank cards and electronic passports, for example. So in theory, Ledger Recover doesn't sound terrible, right? I mean, there's obviously a market for it. Otherwise this product wouldn't even exist. So for those of us who don't want to sign up for Ledger Recover, we just don't give Ledger consent for third parties to know our seed phrase, right? Well. My main concern revolves around Ledger's inconsistency. For example, look at this tweet from November 15th, 2022, where they publicly stated, hi, your private key never leaves a secure element chip, which has never been hacked. The secure element is third party certified and is the same technology as used in passports and credit cards. A firmware update cannot extract the private keys from the secure element. Now look at this later tweet on May 16th, 2023, which was about the time Ledger Recover was rolling out, where Ledger said, this is not automatically enabled by any firmware updates. This is your choice. And this is in reference, obviously, to Ledger Recover. Now, the wording here is really important. Basically, what Ledger is saying is that the firmware update doesn't force you to use this service that extracts your private key from the secure element chip. However, if you let it, it can extract the private key. My main concern here is more about transparency. While Ledger states that this service is optional and isn't forced on users through any firmware updates, it is definitely a concern. A lot of us are still concerned because all of the current firmware has this Ledger Recover option on it and they don't create like a, a side firmware that we can use that doesn't have Ledger Recover. The only exception is the Ledger Nano S, which they stopped supporting, I believe back in 2021. So if you're using the Ledger Nano X or the Ledger Nano S Plus, and you have the most current firmware on that device, then it does have that Ledger Recover in that firmware. So you might be wondering, well, what if I just don't update my firmware to the latest version or I use an old version of the firmware? Well, this is definitely an option. However, you may run into issues down the line if you don't update your firmware. So eventually you're going to have to update it. There's not really any way around this. That said, maybe this alone isn't enough to make you reconsider using Ledger products. And maybe you actually welcome the Ledger Recover service because again, there is a market for this service. However, Ledger Recover isn't the only concern I have about Ledger hardware wallets. In fact, one of the first major red flags with Ledger popped up back in 2020 when approximately 270 thousand customers info was leaked in a data breach and this data breach revealed important customer information like their postal address their first and last name phone numbers and this was in addition to over 1 million emails being leaked 
The data breach didn't have a direct impact on the security of users harder wallets or the ledger live app but obviously other issues were the result of this breach numerous users were targeted by email and sms phishing scams which eventually resulted in users harder wallets being compromised but it gets even worse because the scammers had access to hundreds of thousands of users home addresses they actually sent out fake ledger devices along with a fake letter from the ceo that stated they were sending out these new devices as a replacement after the security breach happened the replacements also came with a fake user guide of course and the user guide told the users to connect their wallet to their computer and then to connect it to this fake Ledger Live app and then input their 24 word seed phrase into the new device into Ledger Live, which allowed the hackers to steal users seed phrase and then all of their crypto. Besides constantly educating users about the various scams that kept popping up as a result of the data breach, there was really nothing Ledger could do. I mean, it had already happened. And then the 2021 bull run started and it kind of seems that everyone forgot the breach ever even occurred. That was until another breach occurred on December 14th, 2023, when Ledger reported that this other security breach had resulted in over $484,000 worth of assets being stolen from various users across the web. The breach occurred when hackers injected malicious code into Ledger's Connect Kit, which is a software library that a lot of decentralized applications on the web rely on. This allowed the code to be injected into the front end of numerous decentralized applications, which is the main part of the website that users interact with and connect their wallet to. So all the websites that were affected by this hack and anyone who connected their wallet and it wasn't just ledger wallets it was literally any kind of crypto wallet hot wallet cold wallet anyone who connected it to one of these infected websites and then signed the malicious transaction were basically signing over control other wallets allowing their wallets to be drained and I mean, $484,000 is a costly mistake. Without a doubt, this chain of unfortunate events has led current Ledger users and potential Ledger customers to second guess whether or not Ledger is the best option for their cold storage needs. Um, if you're wondering if I still use a Ledger hardware wallet, as you can see, I have the Ledger Nano X right here. Personally, I don't use Ledger anymore. That's not to say that I hate Ledger. I actually really enjoyed using the Nano X when I had it and uh, this was actually my introduction to cold wallets and I learned a lot using Ledger, but I just don't use their products anymore. And to be honest, Ledger wallets do have a lot of desirable security features that you know you would want out of a cold wallet or at least that I want from my cold wallet. Um, an EAL5 plus secure element chip. It's protected by a user generated pin. And of course you can generate a seed phrase using the wallet. But after everything that's happened over the last several years, I thought, why would I continue to use Ledger when there are a ton of other options on the market that I could try out? So I made the decision to start testing out new hardware wallets and that's kind of how this channel came about. Now I probably own you know, over 20 different types of hardware wallets and um, I definitely have some new favorites. So if you consider yourself a beginner in the hardware wallet world or you're just maybe not that tech savvy or you just really like the simplicity of Ledger hardware wallets, don't worry because there are a lot of other options on the market that are better than Ledger in my opinion. So my favorite wallet now, just overall favorite is Tangem. And this is a wallet that I recommend to most people mainly because of how easy it is to use. Uh, obviously it's a card shaped wallet. It's literally the same size as a bank card and it is NFC compatible. So all you need to use it is an NFC compatible phone and the Tangem app. It is compatible with both iOS and Android devices. It takes about, I don't know, three minutes to set up and the app walks you through the setup process step by step. So if you are completely new to hardware wallets, it's, uh, it's just so easy to use. Tangem also has a lot of the same security features that Ledger has. So it does come with an EAL six plus secure element chip. You can also create your own access code or passcode for the wallet. Uh, you can generate your own seed phrase, obviously, with it. And the Tangem app is 100% open source. However, the firmware on the card is closed source, uh, not open source. But it has been audited by two cybersecurity companies. A few years back, Kudelsky Security audited Tangem. And then more recently, Risk Here did another audit. And what I really like about the Tangem cards uh, when you get them, they come with the firmware already installed on them and you never have to update the firmware. And this is done by design. The firmware is non updatable. That way you don't accidentally install like a malicious firmware. So the only thing you have to worry about when using the Tangem wallet is updating the Tangem app. If you want to get 
uh, the new features and just to ensure that it stays, you know, easy to use. It's also IP68 rated. I mean, obviously it's just a, a plastic card. It's super durable. So it is waterproof, dustproof, and it is resistant to extreme temperatures. As a result of that, not only is it the most durable hardware wallet on the market, but it actually comes with a 25 year product replacement warranty. And unlike Ledger, Tangem has sold over 1 million of these hardware wallets. Um, they haven't had a data breach, not a single wallet has been hacked. And to be honest, all of this, everything I just told you is great. It's honestly an easy sales pitch, but that's not the main reason why I like Tangem. That's not the reason why it's my favorite wallet overall. Of course, um, they're all pros, but the main reason why I like Tangem is because of how easy it is to use. I literally use it several times a week and it's just, it's so much more convenient than a wallet like Ledger or even Trezor or really any wallet that you're plugging into your computer because again, you're not plugging in anything. There's no battery or anything. You literally just scan your scan it to your phone using the Tangem app and you're managing all your crypto that way to approve transactions. You hold it up to your phone and that acts as your digital signature. So it's really just a, the user friendliness is way up here where other wallets are way down here. And I think as uh, the hardware wallet market continues to develop and expand, we're going to see a lot more user friendly options like Tangent because honestly, this is the future of hardware wallets. In my opinion, it's just as easy to use as a crypto exchange like Coinbase or a hot wallet like MetaMask or Trust Wallet. Plus the price is right, it's only 50 to $60 if you use the discount code in the description of this video. And depending if you want two or three cards because each card acts as a backup. So if you are looking for an alternative to Ledger, definitely check out my full review of the Tangent Wallet along with its user guide in these next videos. Definitely hit that subscribe button. As always, thanks for hanging out with me. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.